my name is Eric Lawson. I'm the Director of Technology and Innovation for the York School Department here in York, Maine, and I'm going to show you how you can use e-signatures in Google Drive. So e-signatures is relatively new. Um, we're going to use it in this example for an IEP. Now often we've created IEPs in a different platform, so I've downloaded it as a PDF. So I'm just going to drag this to Google Drive, and I'm uploading it to a folder that I called e-signatures, because this is where I'm going to preview any IEPs, 504s, things of that nature that need a signature from parents and guardians. You can double click the PDF just as you would to preview any PDF in Google Drive. And here it shows the IP that was created in Google Gemini for me. Um, I'm going to click on the three dots for more actions and click on eSignature. This will open up a new tab and also give me a right navigation panel for eSignatures. Here I can add certain signers. So I'm going to add a few signers here, uh, just three for this example. But if I scroll to the bottom of my IEP for Mr. Jack Sparrow, I need to make sure that I put down. Um, so signer one is going to have a signature field here and also a name field. No, the name's already there and a date. Um, and we're just going to continue to do that for the different signers. So uh, I'm not going to bore you with dragging this out for every single one, but let's get at least um, fictional mom and dad um, here to go along with Mr. Jack. Um, call him captain and we'll just drag these out so that the fields have been placed similar to anything else you've used other platforms um, and then once it's there you can click on request signature now this is where you're going to pull up um, signature emails so I'm just gonna put in my own for now um, but you can get the idea once they're there you can have an option please sign before and then put a date um, and then oh, I need to have something in each one so let me just get a couple more addresses here I'll put in my whole family here. <laughs> and so once we have all of those, I can click send request. That email will be sent to everybody on this list. They'll open it up. They'll be able to click to e-sign and to date the document. I will get notifications every time somebody opens the email, signs it. And at the very end, of course, everybody will get a chance to see the document with all of the signatures. And there you have an e-signature document. And I can show you what an example of that looks like so that you're ready to go to have e-signatures in your school district. So the, from the parental end, I'm going to get this email right to my inbox. It says new e-signature requested. Please sign by with the date. So I'm going to open up the document, which in Google Drive just launches that PDF that you saw earlier. Um, this is where I can um, mark complete, reject, or I can scroll down, obviously. And this is where I'm going to sign, click a signature. It's going to ask me to type in my full name. Um, I can also do my initials if I want. And then that way I can adopt it. I can sign it. It automatically dated it because of today's date when I signed it. Um, and then I can say mark is complete. And yes, I have read and agreed to this program. Um, and then that goes back to the originator. Obviously, the other two people still waiting to be signed also have that email. And I just got an email back, actually, that shows that the requested document and as people are signing, I'm getting notifications as well as one of the signers. OK, so when everybody has signed the document, the originator will get an email and it'll say things like e-signature complete. And here you can open up the attachment. And as you can see, the IEP at the bottom of the screen has now been signed and dated by all three people. Now it's ready to be filed. I can download this or I can add it back to Google Drive by just clicking on Drive and then finding out where I want it to go, in this case, right here to eSignatures. And it's all set. That's it. That's as easy as it is for eSignatures inside of Google Drive. I hope this helps.